Mixed martial arts is the best sport for one simple reason. We don't have athletes. We have modern day gladiators. But did you also know the UFC is filled with cucks? Let's get into it. Let's start out with the archetype of the cuck. Ian Machado Gary. A lot of you probably think he would have landed at S tier. Not the case. However, he is the perfect person to represent the A tier of the UFC cucks. He married a 40-year-old woman with a child. He took her last name, Machado. He employs her ex-husband as his nutritionist. And he has herpes simplex 1. AKA a cold sore. Need I say more? We'll hop into the B tier right now. JP Bays. Velismus divorced him. But before that, went on like a sex retreat to Georgia with Roman Delice. Reason Bays isn't at top tier. I know he, people make a lot of cuck jokes about him. Uh, he handled it okay. He did post about it. A, you know, don't post about it at all. But, you know, did expose her. But yeah, he didn't whine on about it like someone else we'll get to in a moment. Yeah, I won't be too hard on Bays. Wish him the best. Let's get right into a C tier. We'll just go through in, an example of each. The Schmo. Yes, not a UFC fighter. UFC journalist. However, films his wife, I think, uh, Helen Yee, getting raised up by Strickland, just to name uh, one example. D tier. Cheyenne Velismus herself got cucked by Roman Gigachad, the lead say. He's stringing her along. He doesn't give a shit about a woman who'd cheat on her husband. You know he's going to go back to Georgia, marry one of his second cousins or something like that. Uh, cute local village girl with uh, good values. Moving back up to A tier, we've got Tim Elliott. Holy fucking shit, dude. This was hard to pick an S tier for this. Luckily, the S, the man who landed himself at S tier, uh, very clear cut. But Tim Elliott, Married an OnlyFans model, Gina Mazzon, or whatever the fuck her name is, cheated. She cheated with Kevin Kroom, his best friend and training partner or whatever, throughout the entire relationship for years, I guess, fucked her on their wedding day, and also, like, dressed up as Santa, and they all, like, sat on his lap and took photos, like, the, the daughter, the wife, and him. Kevin, sick man, dude. What an absolute savage of a man. But yeah, and then to top it all off, went on, you know, wrote an entire novel about it on Twitter for weeks and weeks and weeks, uh, complaining about it until Man All Cap shut, his, shut him up. Come on. Come on, Tim. Pull yourself together, dude. Uh, let's move on down to B tier again here. We've got Sanko's husband. The husband of Laura Sanko, Nathan Sanko. Don't know much about the guy personally. I uh, don't care about him personally. Laura Sanko constantly flirts with fighters. Shavkat, prime example recently. And her co-workers. Weidman, also a married man. Uh, DC, married, like, you know, at least respect to Dan Healy. Doesn't fucking tolerate that shit at all. A man with values. And I'm pretty sure, this isn't verified, but does she not have an open relationship with her husband? She's spoken about that, I believe, before, right? Okay, come on. Going back down, similar pattern here. Joseph Benavidez, by way of Megan O'Leary. She's not the worst, but there are rumors. I can't verify them. I haven't heard so much uh, things, I believe, so much, but... You know, just the line of work she is in. So there are the rumors that she's banging men who aren't manlets. Benavides has to hop in here at the C, uh, C tier. Move down to D tier again. We've got Sean Strickland. The man who fucking got his girl, girl, stolen by Dom Cruz. Okay. Of all people to lose your chick to, Dominic Cruz. Nothing more to say about that. B tier. Don't have any more for A tier, sorry. Nina 
dramas, husband, the camboy, the cameraman, the man who films her while she rizzes up Mara, buys him thousands of dollars worth of gifts, flirts with him constantly. Come on. Like, it's so in the face, on the nose, whatever you want to call it. At least I think she's fucking Marab. And a lot of you guys all, why isn't Marab on this list? Why isn't he S tier? Why isn't he A tier? Oh, he's a cuck. No, he's fucking not. All right, this isn't title cuck tier list or else Robert Whitaker would be at the top, okay? Anyway, Mackenzie Dern's husband, another cuck, landing him at C tier. They are split up now, but talking about how you're like, 120 pound wife would beat you up and the fact that she you know left you to live her best life in her 30s while raising your kid and fucking dudes and posting ass pics and baby pics and stuff just cuck total cuck shameful but he is out of that situation now c tier also don't give a shit about him moving on to d tier last person i have in d tier here is tracy cortez Got cheated on by the Chicano Chad Ortega. All right. <laughs> and then dumped. And then I'm pretty sure didn't she miss weight or fucking pull out of a fight entirely or something because of her mental health or some, some shit like that. I don't know. Might just be ma- uh, just I don't know why I'm thinking that. I feel like that's true. If it's not, whatever. Who cares? D tier is like an inadvertent cuck tier. Now for the one you've all been waiting for, obviously. S tier. Sean Sugar Show O'Malley. Open relationship for years, going both ways. Allegedly says his wife wouldn't want to fuck other guys. Or his girlfriend at the time, I guess they're married now. But sh- tells stories about how she says, oh, I wanted to fuck her, his buddy. And then he messaged the buddy on Instagram and took him out for coffee and talked to him about how it's okay if he wants to fuck his girlfriend. You see why it says S tier? Told the friend he could bang her. Didn't finish in his own girlfriend. And believes the baby's his. I know you probably can get pregnant from pre cum, but you gotta have some powerful fucking sperm, dude. You gotta you you can't be smoking dope, starving yourself to make bantam weight and all this shit, and expect to have Sperm that's going to be impregnating bitches through your pre-cum. All right. You're an idiot, Sean. Why do you believe that story? You are an idiot. You have been cuckolded and you are raising another man's baby. Most likely, allegedly, whatever the fuck you want to call it. (sighs) We got to get some honorable mentions in here. Dustin Poirier. Didn't make the list. I don't believe he's been cucked. I would believe his girlfriend, or wife, I should say, Jolie, che- may have cheated on him like early on in their relationship or something like that. I don't believe the Connor shit. No way. And Chris Curtis, not a cuck as far as I'm aware. Absolute simp beta male feminist. Demon Bobby. Be my mommy.